Welcome back to News 15 at noon. Taylor Trache, thanks for hanging out with us. And hanging out with us, we have Brady McKellar and Ellen Fusech, our really good friends from Vermilionville. Y'all, what's going on? You always have something fun going on. Always, and always. There's a really cool showing that's taking place on Monday. Yes, Monday the 20, uh, the 31st, on oh, today's the 20th, uh, <laughs> is After the Spill, which okay. is a documentary that was made back in 2015. Wow. Five years after the BP film. Yeah. Talking about the long range effects mm -hmm. on the Gulf and on the economy. Yeah. So, yeah, that's going to be. Monday night, 6.30 p.m. free. It is our Layview film series. I love that you guys do this. And that's a series that we always have. It's the last Monday of every month. Okay. Which is always something to like, Look really kind to. of remind people is that, right. yeah, we've always got great music and we've always got yeah. big events. But throughout the course of the month, we've also got a lot of these really great historical and cultural connections through things like our Levu documentary film series. It's a great way for people to learn about a bunch of different things yes. at one really cool historical place. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, right, right. I love that. And that is free. Yes. Okay, very cool. And we're also, you guys are gearing up for Acadian Culture Day. Yeah, speaking of free, yeah. uh, we have also got our annual uh, Acadian Culture Day event, which is coming up on August 13th okay. this year. We're super excited. It yeah. really is about one of our biggest days of the year. Yeah. And, it, and it's all about the celebration and demonstration and sort of exploration of the cultures and history and traditions of the Acadians and the Cajun people here in the area. And I think that's so important that people learn about that culture because it's so prevalent here. It's, sure. it's the basis of, I feel like, who we are in this Acadian community. Why do you guys think it's so important to host events like this? just because we can see where we've been, mm -hmm. where we are, and where we want to be. And mm -hmm. it, it makes it a very personal thing for everybody who lives here yeah. because they make some connection right. that they may not have made without yeah. finding out about all the different exciting Cajun and, and Acadian cultural yeah. Yeah. And, and one of the things that I'm super excited about this year is that there's an organization called the Acadian Families. Okay. And they are going to have a table on site oh, that's so that cool. people that walk up and they're like, well, I'm a Landry or I'm a Broussard or I'm an Arsenault. Great. Cool. Like these people can help you discover more about your family history and sort of trace that line back. And so I'm really, really excited to have this opportunity. Uh, to get some of those people yeah. with some of those names that may not understand the historical relevance to our region. And so I'm really glad to have them on board I this year. I think that's so cool to kind of learn a little bit more about their own possible family tree yeah. and of as course, well. Food and music and fun. All the other great oh, right, things right, right, that, right. that we know and Dancing love. Dancing and art. Oh my gosh. It, we're out of time, but if you want to learn more, how can they? They can look us up on Facebook or they can find our website, vermilionville.org. Y'all, thank you so much for hanging out with us. We're going to post all of this on our website, klef.com too. Right now, though, let's take a look at this hot, hot, hot weather. Adam, what are you tracking over there, buddy? Heat. Great. See you later. Bye. <laughs> no, it's, it's hot out there.